Sandy Earl, thank you so much for joining us here at Blind Boone Park, which this is your baby. And it's a lot of other people's baby too, I think. It had been let grow up and uh, was really unusable, and it had been a segregated park. So I talked to the park director at the time, and he said, it's called Blind Boone Park. And I said, well, what's a blind boon? And he said, you need to find out. So I did a little research, and I became completely fascinated and enamored with this person who was blinded at a very young age because he had what they termed brain fever. But nothing stopped him from doing what he wanted to do. And eventually, the, the city of Warrensburg got together and sent him to a blind school in St. Louis. So he was near the Tenderloin District and could hear the, the music. But then he met a music student at the school, and although Boone could play, already. He, it was as if it was a gift, as if he was born with it. They said, no, you need to learn classically. And so they got him a teacher and he learned classically. He played over 7,000 concerts. He was very philanthropic. Mm -hmm. um, he was just an amazing human being. We thought, well, let's, let's work on it in his honor then and for the community itself and remember the history of the segregated park and remember the history of Boone. So we commissioned the sculpture, and I told her, you know, this, this needs to be basically something that's tactile and interesting for people sighted or not sighted. When we set it there, we just had set it down, this mother and son came up the street across the street, and he was blind. And they were looking across the street, and I said, oh, please come over. And he was immediately fascinated, especially with his hair. And so I thought, oh, we've succeeded here. It was almost like it was meant to be. Like yes. that was the first person who was supposed to get to yes, see it. Yes, exactly. And, and it's an exciting sculpture. I really love it. What do you think this means to the community still today? Well, I think it's an example of what you can do when you set your mind to something. We had one volunteer. His name was Charlie Briscoe, and he said, what once kept us apart now brings us together. And that meant a great deal to me because that was the plan. Let's, let's all get together and let's think about it together and let's plan it together so that it, it is for everyone, for all of us. And let's not forget the past, but let's also create it for the future. Well, congratulations, even though it's 20 years later on the endeavor being a success for you. Thank you, thank you very much. Spark your spirit of discovery and experience more unique Missouri people and places on the Missouri Life Channel. Like and subscribe to keep up with the latest content.